Okay, let's see if I can get through this one without arming an eye like a mindless fool. Stop it, I'll start jittering. <laughs> Hi peeps, it's Raina from The Shy Lion. This video is to teach you how to do invisible decreases, which is super perfect for when you are crocheting amigurumi. There are a few different ways to decrease, some of which you probably already know. You can crochet two together, or you can skip a stitch. The problem with these two decrease methods when you are making amigurumi is crocheting two together leaves a bump and skipping a stitch leaves a hole and you don't want a hole when you're making amigurumi because the stuffing will show through or come out and that is not very pleasant for amigurumi but this method is really cool uh, it's not too tricky if you just sort of take it easy and um, I think you'll find it really useful so have a crack at it Give it a whirl, and if you have any feedback, comment on the blog. Thanks! This is what we're going to be working on, and I'm going to use a bigger hook than you normally would just to make sure it's clear. So, you have the top of your stitches, which look like chain stitches or little V-shapes. Now, normally when you work your single crochet, you go straight through the stitch under the little V-shapes like this. But to do invisible decreases, we're going to be using the front loop of the stitch, which is this one here. You just want to pick up that very front loop and not both legs of the V. So I'm going to pick up my stitch here and we're going to do our first one. So we're going to insert our hook into the very next stitch, but just picking up that front loop. Then you'll have to angle the hook around a little bit and pick up the front loop of the stitch after that. So now we've got two stitches on our hook, but we've only got the front loops. Then we complete our single crochet as we normally would. I'm just going to single crochet across to where my next decrease will be. Okay, we're going to slow it down a bit. Insert your hook into the first stitch, picking up only the front loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, picking up only the front loop. Okay, now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over our hook, pull the yarn over through the first two loops, so now we've got two loops, yarn over and pull through two. And that's completing our single crochet. Fast forward, kablam! Okay, let's talk it through on normal speed again. Insert your hook into the first stitch, picking up the front loop. Insert into the next stitch, picking up the front loop. Three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through two. For the next decrease, I'm going to let it play through slowly for you, but I'm not going to talk you through it. You're on your own now, but you can do it! <laughs> 